Hey Divination, thank you for joining us in this tutorial and today I will show you how to emphasize your images colors using patterns. So I've provided you with seven different free patterns which you can download within the blog post. I've put a link in the description below so go ahead and download these files and without any further ado, let's get to it. Now before we dive into the tutorial, let's take a quick look at what we'll create within this tutorial. So we have this design over here and as you can see the pattern is located at the top right of this image. And then if we scroll down we have the second pattern and this one is also located at the top right. And further down we have the following pattern and this one is located at the bottom right. Same for this one. And then we also have a pattern at the top left side as well with different patterns that you can apply to it. Now the first thing you will need to do is go ahead and download these free patterns. There are seven in total and you can find these within the blog post which I've mentioned in the description below. And if you go to the blog post and scroll down, you'll see a section called download this tutorials file. So you'll simply have to enter your email address and a download button will appear right away and you can download the folder. And within the folder, you can find all seven patterns which will apply within this tutorial. And there's also a PSD file. So the first thing we're going to do is add a new page, give our page a title. Afterwards, we're going to publish this page, enable the Divi Builder and switch over to Visual Builder right away. Now we already have a section over here. We're going to apply some modifications to it. So start by going to the background subcategory and use a white background color for your section. Then move on to the design tab and add some custom padding at the top and bottom of your section using 150 pixels. Now we can start adding our row and for this row we'll use two columns and I'm immediately going to add an image module to the first column. And for this I'm going to use my pattern image which you can find in the downloaded folder. Then go to the background subcategory and add two of the main colors of your product image over here using a gradient background color. So for this example I've used the following color codes and I haven't changed the default settings. Then move on to the design tab, open the sizing subcategory and we're going to adjust the width to 60%. And then right below this image module, we'll add another image module. This time we'll upload the product image that we want to show up in this section. Move on to the design tab and disable the always center image on mobile option. Next, open the sizing subcategory and we'll adjust the width of this image module as well. We use 80% and we'll also apply a box shadow to it just to create a little bit more depth. Then move on to the second column and start by adding the first text module over here. So we'll use this text module to enter our title. Then go to the background subcategory and use the following color code as your background color. Next we'll open the text subcategory within the design tab and we'll use ultra bold as our font weight. We'll also change the text size into 52 pixels and we'll use a white text color. Use one for the line height and use center text orientation. Then we'll open the sizing subcategory and we'll modify the width. We'll use 83% and left module alignment. Then we'll open the spacing subcategory and we're going to apply some custom padding. So 30 pixels to the top and bottom. And we'll also add some rounded corners to the top left and top right corner using 20 pixels. And right below this text module, we can add another text module for our description. So go ahead and enter some text in the content box. Then move on to the design tab, open the text subcategory and we'll adjust the text size to 17 pixels. We'll use the following color code for our text color. And the last module within this column is a button module. So go ahead and enter some button text. 
then go to the design tab and start making some adjustments to the appearance of this button. So enable custom style for it and use the following color code as your background color. Adjust the border width to zero pixels. Choose bold as the font weight, enable uppercase, then scroll down and choose an icon. You can choose whichever icon you want over here, but I'll just pick this one and then scroll down. Disable the only show icon on hover for button option and use left icon placement. And last but not least, we'll also add some custom padding to the left and right side. So we'll start with the right using 30 pixels and we'll add 50 pixels to the left side because of the icon. All right, so now we have this result and I'm going to clone this section three times because I'll show you how to position the pattern um, according to your needs. And for that, we'll use different custom margin values. So we'll start with the first one, open the patterns image module, go to the spacing subcategory. And we're going to use 250 pixels for the left side on each one of the screen sizes. Then open the product image module. Again, go to the spacing subcategory and we're going to make this image overlap the pattern image module using minus 240 pixels for desktop, minus 220 pixels for tablet, and minus 100 pixels for phone. Now let's move on to the second one. So again, we'll open the patterns image module, go to the spacing subcategory, and we're going to apply different custom margin on the different screen sizes. So 200 pixels for the top margin and 330 pixels for the left. Then on tablet, we'll use zero pixels for the top but still 330 pixels for the left. And on smartphone, we'll use 200 pixels for the left instead. Then again, we'll open the product image. And these are the different custom margin values that we'll use on different screen sizes. Now you can use whichever pattern you want from the downloaded folder. And you can also choose how much you want the product image to overlap the pattern. So for instance, you can change the negative top margin just to make it fit the way you want to. Now let's move on to the last one and we'll make this pattern appear at the top left of your product image. So again, this is the custom margin that we'll use for the pattern image module. And then we'll also open the image module that contains our product image and we'll apply the following custom margin. So now that we've gone through all of these steps, let's take a final look at the results. So we have the seven different patterns applied to this design over here, which we showed you uh, how to create from scratch. So here you have the result. Well, that was all for this tutorial. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and make sure that you follow us on all our social media channels so you'll get a notification every time we have something new for you. Thanks for watching and we look forward to seeing you in our next video.